So the Gen 3 Ico solar panel has just been released and we have the opportunity to ask Mark all about it. So Mark. Generation 3, yeah, just landed. Um, it's an evolution rather than a revolution. So all those features that I discussed with the Generation 2 panel still remain. We've made several changes. One is moving the string collectors to the rear of the panel. So what you would see normally on the front of the panel, you'd see this along the top, you'd see one in the middle and one along the bottom. We've moved those onto the back of the panel, which is difficult to do with traditional technologies. Um, because we're back contact, we can easily do that. We've also bunched the cells up closer together. Basically, in doing those two things, we've given ourselves a lot more room on the front side of the panel. So we've managed to fit larger cells on. Larger cells, more light, more power, more efficiency. So whilst retaining all those Generation 2 features, we've managed to up the power and efficiency just by a bit of moving around. I must admit, it's the first time I've ever seen the buzz bar and that set up on the yeah, back. Yeah, so this is a benefit to back contact. We can have loads and loads of contacts and make the, the most of that power. If you imagine this is on the front of the panel, mm. you're going to get no light through it. There's yeah. going to be so much shading. So this is where the back contact really comes into play. I think it really shows now where we're at like such a granular level. We're making yeah. like really small changes to create those tiny efficiencies that add up and yeah. give us that extra 30, 40 watts. Exactly. So like these, these uh, string collectors, if you were to say use that on Topcon, you'd actually have to wrap those over the top rather than bring them through, which would mean extending the ribbon by two or three mil, which doesn't sound a lot, but it's going to affect the efficiency. But also you can get micro cracks along the tops yeah. of the cells, which basically would ruin that cell which would act like a shaded cell so yeah it's very difficult to do we're very good at what we do um, which is why we're number one very clever